Hello students, this is Amol Ingole and in this video uh, I am going to explain numerical on Viterbi decoding. Uh, this is the numerical uh, which we are going to discuss in this video. Two generator sequences are given and uh, it is asked to draw the encoder diagram construct a trellis diagram and decode the received code word using Viterbi algorithm. If you look at the statement, you can easily identify the number of output bits or number of outputs is n is equal to 2 in this case. Uh, number of memory units required that is m and that is also equal to 2 in this case. The encoder diagram can be easily drawn using the generator sequences and this is the encoder diagram. You can see the video, earlier video and you will come to know how this is drawn. Now to construct a trellis diagram, we will first need to construct a response table. Uh, you can again watch the earlier video for response table. This is the response table for this numerical. Using this generator sequence you can easily draw the diagram and uh, in diagram you can easily construct this response table. The trellis diagram for this numerical is this one. You can see the video on trellis diagram. And you will understand how this trellis diagram is drawn. Uh, let's have a look at the steps of Viterbi algorithm, uh, which we discussed in earlier video. Uh, first step is divide the given received sequence in uh, packets of n bits and write those packets over the trellis diagram. The second step is uh, finding the Hamming distance between the n bit packet and the output of the encoder, and then finding the path metric by adding the Hamming distance of earlier branch. Third step is discarding the path with higher path metric. Fourth step is repeating step 2 and 3 the paths with the lower path metric till the la last time step and the fifth step is select the path with the lowest path metric and decode the code. We are going to follow these five steps in Viterbi decoding. So let's start. This is the received code word given in the numerical. So the first step is Dividing this received sequence into packets of n bits and writing those packets over the trellis, over this trellis, like this. So, this is the same received code which is written in the form of two bits packets. So, this is first two bit, next two bit, like this. Now, let's see the step two. Step two is finding the Hamming distance and writing the path metric. So here the Hamming distance between the packet of the received code word, first packet in the first time term that is 1 1 and 0 0. Here the Hamming distance will be 2 and that 2 can be written as a path metric for this path and will be written in a box like this here at this node. The path metric for this path can be found by finding the Hamming distance between 1 1 and this 1 1 as there is no difference the Hamming distance is 0 and the path metric for this path will be written in box like this which is 0. So 0 is the path metric for this path. Let us repeat the same step in step uh, time step number 2. Here 0 1 finding the Hamming distance between 0 1 and this is 0, 0. There are four paths. We are finding it for the first path. 
amming distance is one here as there, there are two uh, there is only one place at which it, it differs so this is one this is zero so amming distance is one here which will be added with the path metric of earlier branch so this is two plus hamming distance between these two that is one and will be equal to three here <coughs> next is finding hamming distance between zero one and one one hamming distance is one here and one will be added with this two and the total path metric will be three for this path for this entire path next hamming distance 0 1 and 0 1 between these two as both are same hamming distance is 0 and will be added this hamming distance will be added with the earlier which is again 0 so the total path metric for this path will be 0 in this case and the last path which is left in this time step 2 is this one here this is again 0 1 and this is 1 0 hamming distance will be 2 which will be added with the earlier path metric which is 0 so 0 plus this 2 will be 2 here now the third step is discarding a path with higher path metric so if you compare out of this 4 there are two path this one which has got path metric 3 this is path from here to here and the other path is from here to here it has got path metric 3 which is higher in value compared to this 0 and 2 so this 2 will be discarded this one and this one will be discarded and can be shown like this just doing a cross on those paths you can show that these two paths are discarded now look at this when you discard this path look at this node there are two branches which are leaving from this node. If you discard this path, which is the only path coming at this node, then these two will have no many. So you can show that these two paths are discarded as well. Similarly, look at this node. There's only one branch coming at this node. And there are two leaving from this node. If you discard the incoming branch, the outgoing branch should also be discarded and will be shown by a cross over it. So you discarded here four branches. Whatever branches are survived now, this one and this one. Let's repeat step two and three for time step number three here. So again, finding the hamming distance between the survived path and zero one. So this is the survived path here is not a discarded so 1 1 and 0 1 hamming distance is 1 again that hamming distance will be added with the previous one so that is 0 so this 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1 so this is the path metric for this path now from here to here for this entire path the path metric is 1 here okay the next one is Finding path metric between this 0, 0 and 0, 1, this dotted path. So, hamming distance is 1 here, which will be added with the earlier path metric, which is 0. So, the hamming total uh, path metric will be 1, and it is the path metric for this entire path. Next, this is the fourth one, right? It is the path metric for this part 1 0 and 0 1 hamming distance will be 2 which will be added with this 2 2 plus 2 4 so the hamming uh, sorry path metric will be 4 it is this path from here to here this is that path which has got the path metric equal to 4 next hamming distance between 0 1 and this 0 0 1 as they are same, the hamming distance will be 0, which will be added with the path metric 2. So, the total path metric will be 2 for this path from here to here, like this. Now, again, 
step three, which says that you have to discard path with higher path metric. So if you compare, this is path metric four, which looks much higher than one and this two. So you can discard this four and this two. These two path can be discarded. Like this. You can discard this fourth one. And you can also discard these two because if you if you look at look at this node there are two branches incoming one is already discarded and we have discarded this now so these two will have no meaning so it should also be discarded similarly this will be discarded why because this is this value this path metric is higher than this one and this one so we have discarded this four you discarded this two now okay if you discard this you can see at this node this one and this one got discarded so the outgoing branch should also be shown as discarded right by drawing the cross over it okay. now let's let's find the hamming distance for time step number four here so this is now 0, 1 and this is 0, 0. Hamming distance will be 1, 1 plus the earlier path metric. Look at this. This path was discarded but this path was not discarded. So the Hamming distance of this should be added with this one. So this 1 plus this 1. Total path metric is 2 here. So And that path will be from here here like this okay. then the next one is 0 1 and this is 1 1 this is the path which is not yet discarded so this is the hamming distance between these two will be 1 here 1 plus earlier 1 okay. so we can write that path metric here as 2 here in the box okay. next one is this pink colored one hamming distance between 0 1 and this 0 1 as both are same hamming distance is 0 which will be added with the earlier one earlier is this path right? and no not this one this one sorry this is 1 earlier path metric 1 and this 1 plus 0 will be 1 here you can write it like this next is 0 1 and 1 0 hamming distance will be 2 that 2 will be added with the earlier path metric and that is 1 here right should not take this 4 why because it is already discarded here. Okay. let's write that hamming distance as 3 here okay. this 2 plus 1 that is 3 okay. now so next step is to discard the path metric. Now here, if you see, uh, there are two paths with path metric two. One with path metric one, and the remaining one has got path metric three. So here you can do uh, like this. You can discard only this path and proceed with these three paths three path metric and you can take the discarding decision at the final step at the final time step okay, that can also be done or you can you can also discard this two this two and this three here and proceed with only one path. that can also be done let's discard this three right when you discard this three these two will also get discarded and you can show it like this now let's let's find the path metric. We'll proceed with these three path metric now in the final step. Path metric, uh, the hamming distance between these two will be zero. Zero will be added with the previous path metric, which is two. So the total path metric is two here. The next zero zero and this one one path met uh, hamming distance will be two. Two plus this two. 4 
4 is the path matrix for this path now. Next, 0, 0 and 1, 1. Hamming distance is 2. Will be added with this one. Total path matrix is 3. It is for this path now. Next, 0, 0 and this dotted line 0, 0. Hamming distance will be 0 as there is no difference. Plus 1. Total path matrix will be 1. Then, 0, 0 and 0, 1. This pink colored one. Hamming distance between these two will be 1. 1 plus the earlier one is 2. The total path matrix is 3 here. Next, 0, 0 and 1, 0. Hamming distance is 1. And that 1 will be added with the earlier path matrix. And the total path matrix will be 3 here. Okay. Now, if you, if you see all these path matrix you have to take a decision that is step number five you have to select a path which has got lowest path matrix see here there is only one which has got path matrix one and all others have path matrix more than one so you can discard all these paths having path matrix more than one like this so i have discarded all the other leaving only this path having path matrix 1 and if you if you follow that path from this node you find that this is the only path left this is the only path left okay? and we got this path using Viterbi algorithm now what you have to do with this path now look at this you have to focus on these outputs here you have to focus on these outputs of these corresponding branches what you have to do now this was the received code word given we followed Viterbi decoding algorithm and we came to know that this is more likely path which we, which we have got so you have to note down these outputs these outputs are nothing but the corrected path Right, which will correct the received code word and we'll also find out. Now see here, this is the decoded of the corrected one. Right? If you compare the received one and the bits taken from this path, like 1, 1, this is 0, 1, this is 0, 0, this is 0, 1. In each time step, you have to write that. And this is 0, 0. You will find that the received code word and the decoded one differs here. Right? The, in this packet exactly at this bit sixth bit it's differing so this is where the error occurred and we could detect that error we detect that error using Viterbi decoding algorithm right? this is how you can you can follow the steps and find out the path okay you can you can you can show that path you can show that trace by using some zigzag line over this path. Right. Thank you.